G'day folks. Well, it's time for a string of equipment autopsies and possibly some sparks and fire. I'm going to start with these metal halide lamp transformers. They're a Bosch Low Schwab, uh, German built, high, or, sorry not metal halide, high pressure sodium well, and metal halide, so both. They're a universal 150 watt metal halide HPS transformer. They have a Z250K starter, igniter. Rated up to 250 watts. Uh, maximum 5 kV output. Capacitors uh, 250 volt, 1.8 microfarad. I think. Sorry, 18 microfarad. 250 volt. Um, they appear to have gotten pretty hot. They're definitely used, well used, but they haven't burnt up. Like, I've seen some of these where all this is burnt, all these terminals are burnt. These ones are just discoloured. Yeah, they're all brittle and old. Yeah, transformer windings aren't black, so I'd say that they're sort of half useful. There's another 16 of them that I can get for free, so I'm going to dismantle and do weird things with these ones, and the other 16 I'll probably pick the best ones out and keep them as spares. Okay, I've disconnected the one up here. That's an old, uh, the JB Electrical 150 watt transformer and I've got this other the third one that I picked up today BS transformer Let's plug it in and see what happens oh, that one saw a flash oh yeah it starts a lot quicker than this one this one sits and buzzes and crackles a bit yeah, metal halide's beautiful the camera's going to go mad but Beautiful spectrum of light. Now I think I'd better find a new condensate pump for this air conditioner. This gravity thing just isn't working. This little tube normally works well, but it's just not cycling properly. Can't even see anything moving through it. it. Hasn't gone cold and sweaty like it is up here. I think it's blocked. Yeah, it's just not right. Damn it! Get in there. Yeah, I'll find a condensate pump for it. There isn't much to these. The mains AC comes in here. You've got brown wires, the active, going to one side of the capacitor, which goes across to neutral, uh, and the other side of the brown wire goes through this ballast. This coil here, this turn is actually looped over. It might be a uh, dual voltage ballast, and they've just changed that. Then it comes out here and feeds this starter module which is a cast aluminum housing with something heavy inside it like a little high tension transformer coil uh, maximum 5 kV output and that outputs through here to one pin of the light socket, the active pin so all it's putting into it is not actual mains but this 5 kV arc these are arc lights, there's no filament inside them all it has to do is strike an arc inside the globe and off it goes so that's feeding one of the output pins and then the neutral is just neutral to the normal mains neutral, the blue wire which is that one there so neutral is going to capacitor which is probably to absorb ripple or something and the return from the metal halide lamp bulb that's all there is to it, there's not much in these and that's all degraded and hard well and truly cooked these always cook interesting to put 240 straight across that ballast and see what it does though I'm thinking that might be my next project we'll just try shorting this as it is put a little bridge that I made up in there and power it on but that's for another video this is just autopsy from now on we can blow things up in another video. Yeah, that lamp's burning nice and bright. It's a 
very good balance transformer. Lit up that whole area. Oh, here's a high pressure sodium lamp for comparison. I don't have any screw sockets for these, so I've done a dodgy job and, well, I don't recommend doing that at home. But it's inside a glass, so it should be safe. I'll just leave it sit up the top like that. This is a Philips SON-T SON series lamp. It's an Argo 400 series. I think there's about $200 each from the shop. The bigger bulbs that I've got are probably $375 each. They're the really big, expensive ones. So let's power this thing up and see what happens. Nothing. That's not a good sign. Make sure that we're on. Yeah, we're on. Sounds like it's dead. I can hear something coming from the power transformer, but it's not striking an arc. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think this ballast igniter is working. I'm going to set it aside and then do some uh, work on it. Those are only 250 watt igniters, so that probably won't work. I'll have to pull it apart and see what the rating is. You can see from here it's a PZS1000K. So it's probably rated to 1 kilowatt, whereas that's a Z250K. Definitely won't do the job. Oh well. Let's try another ballast and a bigger light bulb. Well the rain's set in but let's play with some more bulbs. I think this is about a 1000 watt stadium lighting bulb. It's a uh, metal halide obviously, a mercury vapour type. I'm going to find the power supply for this one. I think I know where it is. I hope it still works. It's a tight fit in there. <laughs> An impressive bulb. Damn Melbourne weather. You get three seasons in one day. <laughs> it is wet. Oh, what a mess. The thing is, it's still hot and humid as hell. I've got the air conditioning running. You know, you piss and condensate. Oh, well. Alright, let's try this big bugger. This is the only power supply I've got, and I'm positive this is the one that I've got for it. If not, I'll have to find a bigger ballast. Ooh, that's working well. I'll be happy with that. These things put out a lot of UV. I'm not going to be too close for too long. But that'll get brighter as it warms up. It's getting tremendously bright. The camera doesn't like it. <laughs> I hear thunder in the distance. The storm is coming. Ooh! Ballast making funny noises. Ah. I'll bet this tube is toward the end of its life. It's just cycling. Oh, well, I should pull another one out of the box and see how long that lasts. Yeah, that's not going to reignite now. Either that or the ballast is getting tired. Yeah, it's not reigniting. Okay, we've got another bulb out of storage. This one still has its marking on it. It's an 1100 watt Sunmaster. So it's definitely a UV light. But the thing is, I just had a quick look down inside the casing and that little Atco transformer has 600 watt high pressure sodium lamp written on it. So this is not for these lamps. It works for a while, but I'd say these tubes are probably alright. Bulbs are alright. 
but I don't have a power supply big enough to run them. Like we're dealing with twice the power of what this is rated for. But it certainly worked for a while. I'll uh, get that high pressure sodium tube, the 600 watt one out again and try it on this now that it's working. I'd say this one here was tossed out because it was dead. Well, I don't know if it was tossed out, Brad gave them to me as a box of bits. Alright, let's try the HPS sodium tube off a uh, good transformer. Ooh, that's better. It's bright too. This is what you need when you want to look at one. That's tremendously bright. Somewhat bright. <laughs> Casting a shadow on everything else in here, even though the lights are on. Well, that's really bright. Right, too hot. I'll melt my tape. <laughs> Oh, that one works. I've got to find proper screw socket and mounting for it. Then I'll be able to run it properly.